So this tutorial is on creating a PCB footprint for either an existing part or you can create a new part with a footprint. And for this, we are going to create a new part and a footprint for this PSOC 4200 part that you see right here. Um, so this is a part a project that um, I had. And so you can see we had the part here. First step was to solder in our pins where we want them to go. And then um, we couldn't find any good dimensions, so all these dimensions had to be measured out. Essentially, your footprint is what the mill is going to see and what you're going to see when you're placing all your parts. You want to know where your holes are going to be and how far apart all your holes are. So um, a caliper and measuring a part when you don't have the actual dimensions is the best way to get that. And that's how we did it with this part here. Again, we're going to come back to Allegro Design Entry CIS and come up to File. And we want to create a new library. So New and click on Library. And now we have our new library. We want to come under this library, right click it. And we're going to add a part here. So we're going to click New Part. And the name is going to be Example Part. Now, footprint that we want to attach this, we don't need an existing footprint. We are just going to name a footprint, and then later we're going to make a footprint with the same exact name. So this is very important. It makes it easier when you are um, changing things later. Every time you add this part in, this footprint will show up with it. So we're going to put example footprint one here. And everything else should be good. So go ahead and click OK. And this pops up. Now this is your new part here. And I know for our part that we need 22 pins along the top and bottom. And I'm going to be using these two pins here in the middle to deliver power. These pins won't be connected to the board. So what I want to draw on this is these outside 22 pins and the two inside pins. Now when you're drawing this, you can draw it however you want. The dimensions do not have to match what your footprint is going to be. This is just for the schematic, but I find it easier to visualize things if I make it uh, close to what it's going to look like. So. It will help me when I'm doing my footprint. If I when I transfer from my schematic to my footprint, it makes it easier for me to find things going back and forth. I see a little hard to uh, a little hard to see the line sometimes or the grid when drawing. So I like to come up here to options, click preferences, grid display, and then click click over here on lines and click uh, on the part and symbol grid lines. Okay. And now it's easy to see all of your lines there. I've made this part uh, 11 down on each side so I can input my 22 pins. When you're ready to input the pins, um, go ahead and it's easiest if you pull open a diagram of what your pins are and what each one is named so you can find it. Um, for this part, I'm going to order them starting from this um, from left corner at ground and then going to be numbered. The numbers are more important than what you actually name them. Names are just for yourself to help you um, route your pins. But the actual footprint, when it transfers over, it'll be number to number. So it's going to start here with one, uh, sorry, one down to 22. I realized that I needed to resize it. To make it our 22 by 22 not 11 by 11 and then we're going to insert a pin place pin 
Uh, the name of our first pin is ground. It's important to know that you cannot name pins the same. So if you have three ground pins, it needs to be ground, um, ground one, ground two, ground three. And the same goes for every pin. Just needs to, um, I just number them or put an A or a B if there are already numbers. And then I'm going to make this pin number one. And then it will walk all the way around in that same pattern that we talked about. Now, when you have multiple pins to place, so I named this pin 2.0 and this is pin number two. It's important to know that numbered pins will just continue to count up. So I have 2.0 to 2.7 that go in order. So that makes it easy and faster placing these because they correlate to the PSOC. And then you have to place a new pin when you want to name it something else. So just to reiterate, I have my ground here, and then my next ground that I placed, I just named it ground one, and the next ground that I placed, ground two. You have to name them differently, and I double checked it, and it is, um, it goes, when it's numbering it on the layout, it's gonna number it one to 22, and then start up top 23, 24, on down, and that's important. I don't know how to change that in Allegro. I'm sure there's some way to do it, but maybe not, and this is my workaround for it. This is our final product for the schematic library. And you can see that we go in order of what we saw on our PSOC, which can be seen here. Um, our pins are in order. It's important that they are in order. So when you number them in your footprint, they correlate to the numbers in your, the numbering in your schematic. The naming does not matter once again. And we have um, our two pins here. Are represented in 45 and 46 right here and we will just ensure that that correlates to our schematic and once we're done here we are going to click save and then we want to save this in our library now the rule on saving files if you're having issues with uh, cadence make sure you are saving files in the same place where um, your files are so if, if you have an OLB make sure you're saving it with other OLB files um, same thing if you have a DRA file save it with other DRA files because that's the normal file path you can change file paths but I'm not going to go over that in this series of videos now under the spice folder I'm creating a new folder named my parts I have no clue if this is illegal if P if it will accept it or I'll have to create a new file path but We'll find out. And I'm going to open that and save my example part one here. And it is warning me that there's a duplicate 3.2 pin and that needs to be changed. So let's find where our duplicate pin is and change that. And we just change pin by double clicking on it. Wrong one. Double clicking on it, 3.2, and I'm just going to call this 3.2A. Okay. And 3.3 .3 is also, so we're going to do the same thing for 3.3. .3. And click save. And I guess it likes everything. Now we can close out of this by right clicking and We'll click save one more time just in case and click close. Should ask you to save automatically if you close it. Now, how we access that part we just created is we come over here to our add libraries button or our libraries and then we're going to add libraries. Um, we can just click on the new library that we did or we can actually come in and find that folder and just add that one. And so now we added our example part and we can find it here. And we'll double click and now we can place this part. And now we are ready to do a foot 